but when I broadcast it, it goes out to everybody else, you know, so it's kind of like right now. So good afternoon, Metro Line of Carts. Brett Elliott, we're speaking with the president of Metro Line of Carts today. Brett, how are you today? What's going on? Doing good, man. Doing good. Ready for uh, ready for the big 4th of July tomorrow. That is great. Yeah, everybody's getting ready. Everybody's going to be in their carts, man. Everybody's going to be driving their carts tomorrow, right? That's right. It's going to be wild. We're, uh, we're actually taking it down to the beach. Um, Going to do a little exposure down there and, 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 you know, just try to hang out and have a little family time as well. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. What what uh, type of a cart, like, so tell me a little bit about what type of cart would you be driving on on the weekend, I mean, for this holiday? Well, you know me. I kind of got to go a little above and beyond what everybody else does. So, uh probably going to be taking uh i got a i got a 2008 gas cart um it is for sale you can see it online um cool it's about a, about a 40 mile an hour golf cart so we like to we like to give a place to place in a hurry so it's just a uh, good fun to be able to uh, go down to the beach and, and and be able to ride something with some speed and uh you know we probably might even take the uh six passenger limo down there and get the whole family on it we can we can drive and, and go eat dinner together and, and things like that. It makes it easier for everybody to get on one cart. Hey, hey, what's the occupancy on that one, like on the limo one? How, how many can you fit? Uh, standard size adults, six people. You know, kids, you could probably put two adults in the front and then do six kids in the back, so eight. Eight would probably be your maximum if you had some young toddlers. Do they ever set up the carts where you have the seats facing each other so you could put like three on one bench and three on the other you know what I'm talking about um yeah it's possible but uh, not generally speaking you don't see that a lot most of uh, most of those things you see are kind of like um, uh, what I would say would you see carts like at amusement parks and stuff like that are specially built to haul a lot of passengers around but generally speaking for family purposes uh, not not really. Okay, so it's usually the driver in the front and then a passenger. Correct. And then typical, you'd have another bench just for two. Each, right. each seat is, is two, right? Right. Yeah. Then you'd have a you'd have a forward facing you'd have the the driver and a passenger in the front, then two forward facing seats behind that uh, facing the driver, and then you'd have uh, a set of seats on the back facing backwards from the driver. So. You know, the standard size is six passengers. I mean, now don't get me wrong. We can build eight, ten passenger carts as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That's sweet. That's, that's real sweet, man. Yeah. So uh, speaking of getting your cart down to the beach or taking the cart, today we, we really want to talk about hauling golf right. carts because, you know, it's, it's one thing for – people to buy a golf cart, you know, they, they come to Metro Line of Carts in um, Rock Hill or right. Port Mill. Uh, Rock, Rock Hill. Hill. Rock Hill. Right, Rock Hill. And so they come to your location there and they like a cart, they pick one out, they're all excited, but they don't have a way to get this cart to their community or to their club or, you know, they just don't have a way to get it to where they need to, to get it. Right. How are they going to haul it? What What do you recommend? Well, first and foremost, I mean, obviously, if you're going to purchase a car from us, if you're fairly local, um, we will deliver the golf cart. Um, in our local surroundings, we deliver the car for free. Once we get out of uh, the Rock Hill area, probably a 25-mile radius, then we start talking about, uh, you know, an extra surcharge to deliver carts. And then once we get out of that broad range spectrum, then we – go about putting it on a truck and sending it via freight. Um, but for a personal, for a person to be able to haul a cart if they want to do it themselves, um, there's several different options. Um, you know, first and foremost, if you have a full-size pickup truck, meaning like a the 1500 series Dodge or, or Chevrolet GM or even the F-150 Ford, um, you can load a golf cart in the back of these trucks with the tailgate down. Um, 
as highly suggested to strap the cart down and and I can say that you won't leave our yard without the cart being strapped down just for safety purposes. Um, and then, you know, you go to your larger uh, full-size pickup trucks. Um, you know, like this morning, we loaded a cart on a uh, GM Denali uh, Dually. It was a 3500. And this cart completely fit in the bed. It did have a lift kit on it, so it allowed you to be able to shut the tailgate. So that's... Uh, that being said, you can you can fit a cart in the back of any truck. It just depends on a lot of people have camping situations where their their trailer they have gooseneck campers and stuff like that. And then you know that's a whole different route of trying to figure out how to haul a cart one place or another. It ends up coming to heaven just to have uh, you know another individual pulling the cart in a different vehicle. Um, right. You can also go with the trailer. Um, there's several different types of trailers that you can go with. I mean, if you're hauling your cart around locally, a little small nine by five trailer will work. Um, depending on your parts and accessories on your cart, if you have a back seat, depending on the height from the floor of the trailer to the top of the railing, uh, you can pretty much back your cart on to a trailer of that size. Um, but generally speaking, we recommend uh, to our customers to go with a five by ten. Uh, we, we actually sell five by 10 trailers here, um, to a customer that purchases a golf cart. We sell our trailers at $895. It's a five by 10, uh, all metal trailer with uh wood flooring with 3,500 pound axles on it with actual car, uh, radio tires. And it comes with a lift gate, uh, to be able to, you know, a lift ramp, should I say, to be able to drive your cart up and on. Uh, the back of the trailer, which makes it a lot more convenient. Right, right. So, th so those are all good things to keep in mind. Dimensions, all that good stuff, you know. Right, um, right. It's, I mean, it's a necessity. When you, you know, you always got to figure out exactly what size something will be uh, to be able to haul it on the trailer. And, you know, another thing is, is making sure that that trailer is capable of hauling this cart uh, the places you want to haul it, you know, you could probably go to Lowe's or somewhere like that and buy a, uh, you know, a cheaper with uh, a cheaper trailer with smaller radius tires and stuff like that. But, you know, really not meant for 70, 80 mile an hour speeds running on interstate. If you're going to get on the interstate and, and be running 70 plus miles an hour, running long distance, hauling your golf cart, uh, we highly recommend you buy a, a decent sized car that gives you room to a uh, decent sized trailer that gives you room to strap it down and also um, something that's got some very durable tires on it. Mm -hmm. Just for the listeners today and or viewers, um, what is your radius again? Like what's your like how far will you deliver? Somebody buys a cart from you guys, you said that you would deliver with no charge for what zone like what radius we'll, we'll basically go um you know in our area rock hill is obviously where we're located we'll go just south of charlotte probably you know up around uh like below the state line we'll stay around going up in the fort mill area maybe over in the indian land shortly uh it's typically about a 20 mile radius 20 to 25 miles is about as far as we can do, uh, considering, uh, as everybody knows, uh, how expensive gas and uh, diesel fuel prices are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But okay. we try to do our best to take care. You know, we try to do our best to take care of the customer. If they don't have availability to, to haul the cart themselves, then, you know, obviously you come in and purchase a golf cart, then we're going to do our best to make sure that, we're taking care of you on the delivery side of things. Right, and, and that's great. Because I, I know you will deliver pretty much anywhere in the United States. Anywhere in the United States, anywhere internationally, actually. Um, obviously, rates fluctuate. Um, east of the Mississippi, we're generally, in most cases, around 250 bucks. Um, some places vary. You get down in the Keys and places like that. Uh, prices obviously get a little bit more expensive um and then you know i mean last year we shipped a cart to sweden so it's not out of the question for us to to ship a cart anywhere it's just whether or not that customer is willing to you know take the time to get it there right 
That's that's amazing. I, I would love to hear more about that. So for those that are you know obviously looking to purchase from you, um, there's there's a way to get the car to them. There's always a way to get the car to them. Always so, a way. And yeah. typically, you know, up and down the East Coast is typically a two day transit. Um, I generally tell my customers to you will have your golf cart in two to five days from the date of uh, the cart being finished. So. Right. That's, uh, you know, we put them on pallets, we crate them, uh, we load them in the truck, we have a big forklift, we load them in the truck with, and uh, we can actually load them, you know, we send them to uh, residential, we send them to businesses, uh, you know, that's got loading docks, and that's where your, really, your price variations come from. As far as the freight goes, uh, they really uh, get a lot higher when you start doing your residential lift gate. Right, that's that's phenomenal. Um, now Monday, you said that you're going to be doing a segment on windshields, right? So we're going to learn a little right. bit more about all the different types of windshields. What, why some windshields are made of glass, or why it's not made of glass, why it's made of plexiglass, or what types of materials that, that are used, right, in in, in, um, in the windshields. Uh, so so we look forward to that. Um, okay, great. Well, <clears throat> is there anything else that we can uh, look forward to. I know you had mentioned that you might have a guest or a special guest or a guest or two or maybe some um, custom golf cart aficionados. I mean, is there is there any kind of golf cart, customized golf cart meet, uh, meetups where you get other, you know, cool looking golf carts where they can all go and, and maybe have an event where it's kind of like showing cars, you know, you get your custom golf carts. Yeah, I mean, there's a, uh, you know, we, I mean, we have communities around that have uh, golf cart clubs. They do poker runs and, and things like that on the weekends. Um, that's something that we're going to be uh, trying to attend here in the near future, and uh, that's what. As far as you know, as far as it being big, I mean, you know, you might see some golf carts at at, at car shows and and things like that, but. Really, the golf cart industry is just now starting to hit it. Um, in my opinion, it's growing. It's growing rapidly, and hopefully, we're going to get some of these clubs. And hopefully, you know, maybe one Saturday we can have a little get together, throw some barbecue on the grill, and, and get some customers out here and let them show off their golf carts that they that they came in and and had built and put their own special touch to it. So maybe we could have what they call a. Custom golf cart tailgate party, man. There you go, man. That's exactly right. You know, a lot of people show their golf carts at football games and stuff like that. Like, you know, we carry our we carry our golf carts to football games and uh but yeah, I think that that'd be awesome to, you know, get all the previous customers to come in and, and share their experiences with possibly potential potential new customers and, and you know, it'd be beneficial to uh to everyone. That's great, man. That that's that's great. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Well, listen, let's do that. I wish you I have a great fourth, man. And uh, right. you know, thanks for taking the time. I, I know your schedule's busy. I mean, uh, most people don't know Brett's doing like ten things at once. There, you know, the guy can multitask. <laughs> uh, so you know, he he takes time away from his busy schedule. But I, I appreciate it. And and great. So we, we look forward to seeing you again on on Monday and learning a little bit more about. Um, golf carts and windshields and uh, some of the different ones that, that you're working on. That's great. Appreciate yeah, it. i just like to uh, take one second to remind everybody, uh, check us out on Facebook. Um, check us out. Give us a like. Uh, we're going to start posting just about everything that we carry. I'm going to start posting, you know, as soon as we get done with builds, I'm going to start posting them online to show current inventory for customers. I think that's going to be a big thing. And uh, that way you can kind of get a feel of, uh, you know, what we're doing. So, you know, if you go on Facebook and check out Metrolina Carts, uh, you'll see us there. And also, you know, check us online. You can see it at the bottom of Joe's screen at MetrolinaCarts.com and, our email information and you know address everything's on there so if you have any questions or anything please feel free to give us a call or come by and see us and and uh let us get you in a golf cart great great man that's awesome well listen man uh happy fourth and Absolutely. we'll talk to you soon all right all right man, man. happy fourth everyone thank you okay thank you all right bye-bye bye-bye